Christmas will never be forgot, for Christmas comes but once a year, and when it does, it brings us here for room, room, ladies and gentlemen, room I pray, for I'm the man who leads the noble captain and his men this way, in come I, it's supposed to boo, in come I, the noble captain, just lately come from France, with my broadsword and my jolly Turk, I'll make King George to dance. And if he should come here, I wonder how he would appear. I'll cut him up, as small as mint dust, and feed him to old Father Christmas in a pie crust. <laughs> in comes I! King George the Fourth. From England I did spring. To tell some of my wondrous works, I'm going to begin. First, in a dungeon I was cast down upon a rocky stone. Wait for it. That's where I made my sad and dismal moan. Oh. No one does dismal like Clifford. <laughs> I fought the fiery dragon through and brought him to great slaughter. And fight it. <laughs> I'd like to spoon on that, that. And by such wondrous works as these, I won Queen Alice's fairest daughter. <laughs> In comes I, the Turkish knight. Thank you. Tom <laughs> <laughs> always rises to the top. <laughs> Just come from Turkish lands to fight our fight, King George. With courage, bold, if his blood runs hot, I'll make it your son. Oh, upon my knees I'll never bow nor bend. I never took thee to be my friend. Oh, why, for why, sir, did I ever do you any harm? You saucy man! You ought to be stabbed! Stab for stab, I. Hello, that's my fear. Appoint the place. I'll meet you there. My place is pointing to the ground. Oh. That's where I mean to lay thy fair body down. Oh. Then, <laughs> down on bending me, I'll pray. Oh, but it be a Turkish slave. Oh. 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 Arise, arise, you Turkish knight. Go to Turkish lands and fight. Tell, go to Turkish lands and tell what fine people here in England do dwell. Fine and very wealthy and I very well. Tell. I, I've heard they're very generous too. Fine, wealthy and generous. Well, across the waters I'll defy. I'll meet you there if I'm still alive. Pull out your sword again and fight. <laughs> Pull out your purse and pay. A pay, that's what you want. Uh, you my money, not my sword. Yes. For one satisfaction, I will have. Before I go away, no money shall I put out nor pay, but you and I must fight most manfully. <laughs> <laughs> if only somebody come in now. Yes, that was just about right. You but I'll come in now if you win. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, the gallant soldier! Bold and slashers, my name. And with sword and buckler by my side, I aim to win this game. My head is made of iron. My body lined with steel. I don't think so. It's been ironed over the walkers, that. <laughs> and with brass unto my knuckle bow, I'll fight you in this field. 
Yeah. You want that for me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> my That's how you I fought you through know. England, France, and Spain, yeah. and many a French dog in my time I've slain. But for what our king should have his right, this Turkish knight today I'll fight. I am the blade that drives the train, train, but people, people do adore me. me. I will you beat her, but you cheat her, drive you all before me. <laughs> My new silk bows. Mike's square top shoes. Just be careful. Hey, I love to act and swear, and swear, and swear, and swear and every champion I do meet out. Ding ding with my dagger. And now I've gone, it is all spent among you wretched fellows. And if we have gone down to die, we'll die upon the gallows. Has anybody got any of them blue pills? Come on! Cheech! All's fair in love and money, please. Alas! Alas, what have I done? I've cut him down like the evening sun. But! Ten more such men I'd fight. For what our king have his right. That's very nice of you. Think you killed the fellow. Well, he's in foot, don't worry about <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, my Turk is slain. Between my arms his body is lain. Again. Is there a, some sort of doctor to be found? To raise his body from the ground! Um, Yes. Indeed. Yes, there is a doctor. <laughs> After this line, to raise this dead man from the ground. So step in, doctor. I'm here. Step in, doctor. Hey, come on, Doctor Good. Wave my hand, Doctor Good. I'll stop the blood and heal the wound and raise this dead man from the ground. I could cure the ipsy pipsy peasy palsy and the gout, pain within and pain without. If a man's neck be broke, I'll set it again, or I won't charge a farthing for me fee. What is your fee? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? <laughs> Can't be no such fee as that. Nine pounds, nineteen shillings, eleven pence, three farthings. Look at Right. In my bag here, I have some pills. Guaranteed by Nice. <coughs> it might have been, might have been tree ball. <laughs> pop a pill in his mouth, and then we give him. The golden slozinger drops. No. Not the golden slozinger drops. The golden slozinger drops. Forty-five years old of it a day. Pour a drop in his mouth. I think we need to be going. And then we have then we have shock treatment. But it's, it's watered down with the National Health Cups. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. There he's moved a leg already. I'm going to be a waste of my best line on that one after that. Show yours, Doctor, show yours. <laughs> <laughs> so rise up, young man, and show these good people how you and I can dance and sing. Oh, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not very well. <laughs> so you see, I'm not one of those twat doctors. Quack. <laughs> I'm not one of those crap doctors. Quack. Quack. <laughs> Bless us for the bloody ducks. I'm not one of those quack doctors that goes around telling a parcel of eyes. I can raise the dead before your eyes. Good evening, folk. A sleep I've had today, and now I'm awakening. We can no longer stay. Aww. But first, before we say good night and we go on our way, we beg one favour of you all. The, the doctor's, doctor's bill to pay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
from the wasps of Lynn upon the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fairly to be seen. But now it's winter time, strangers travel far and near. And we wish you and send you a happy new year. Thank you very much. Mud and blossom, mud and blossom, mud and bloom and bloom. Oh, well, I'm just going to be home, I'm sure. Okay. Maybe we have plenty of cider all next year. Handfuls and in capfuls and in bushel bags and all. And the cider are running out of every gutter hole. Down there in the muddy lane there sits an old red fox. He's a starving and a shivering and a blinking old shot trots. Bring us out your table and spread it if you please. And give the hungry wasslers a bit of bread and cheese. I have a little purse and it's made of leather skin. A little silver sixpence to line it well within. Now is winter time, strangers travel far and near, and we wish you, send you a happy